Okay, guys, so this is gonna be how to handle a call like a champ every single time. You wanna be the best in the world? Here we go. I'm gonna give you nine things you gotta know. Number one, write this down. Let's start with mindset. Mindset, the believability that look, the customer can buy. They came to buy and they will buy as long as you do your job. Listen to me, they contacted you on the phone because they got an itch and they want you to scratch it. Are you ready? Let me ask you this, do people have to prove to you that they can buy before you give them your best? Right when you pick up the phone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Andy, how can I help you? It's like, they're like, hey, I was calling about this vehicle. You're like, oh my gosh, that's a great car. By the way, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Right out the gate, the customer is judging you on if you're somebody that they like or not. Guess what? You need to know and let them feel that you like them right out the gate. In order to do that, how do you do that? By having a great mindset, okay? You got to know that this customer will buy as long as you do your job. So you have the mindset of that. No distractions. You let nothing else be in your brain, except for this is gonna be an appointment and they are gonna buy the car. That's the mindset of a person answering the phone who will succeed every single time. Number two, it's gonna be posture. What's posture? Look, are you sitting down asleep like in a library? Or you're standing up selling cars, flags are flying, people are buying, having the best day of your life. Look. You got food in your mouth, you got a couple of Cheetos, you're talking on the phone, um, 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 breathing hard, or do you sound clear and clarity? What's your posture? Listen, look, if you're slouched over the phone, kick back, feet up on the desk, I'm just telling you, man, and you're sitting down, you're not going to do well on the phone. I can envision every time I talk to someone on the phone what they're doing when I talk to them. Have you ever spoke to somebody on the phone and they seem like a slouch and they didn't care? Don't let that be you. That's most of the world out there, okay? So what I want you to do is sit up straight, have a good posture. Look, even though they can't see you, they can hear you. Do you know why working on the phone is so hard? Why it's so hard? Because most people in person can do great, but you get an hour with that person. So if you make a mistake, right, you can still overcome it and get the sale back on track. But on the phone, look, man, you get what? A couple minutes, five minutes on a phone call if you're lucky? Well, that five minutes, they're judging you. And it's really hard to come back from a mistake when you only got a couple minutes. So the goal is, is that, look, we talked about mindset a minute ago. Now we're talking about posture. When you're talking to somebody, make them seem like they're talking to an expert that's having a great day, that's sitting up, that's prepared, that knows what they're doing, and that sounds great. Guys, your posture is everything. So sit up straight. Smile with your eyes, even though they can't see you. Smile with your teeth. Have a great attitude. Have the right posture. It'll take you really far on the phone. Okay, number three is going to be energy. Energy is so important. Look, wouldn't you like to talk to somebody on the phone and they motivated you, they inspired you, and they made you feel great after speaking with them? I would. Well, think about it. What does energy do? Can I ask you a question? Have you ever purchased anything in a bad mood? Have you? I mean, I'm going to tell you if I did, I hated it. Everything that I've ever bought, I was in a great state and I was in a great mood. I was actually in the mood to spend money. So guess what? When you answer the phone, and you answer the phone with lots of energy and pleasant, like you're an awesome person to do business with, I'm gonna tell you this, that will put them in a great state to want to do business with you. Look, there's a very good chance, matter of fact, a 95% chance that they've already contacted a couple dealerships and spoke to some people who are like a coffin dead. Guess what? When you show up with energy, excited, and actually, let's just say this word, passionate about doing your job, well, that customer knows that they found the right person, energy. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are? In the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it.
Okay guys, so it's gonna be number four. We're gonna talk about connection. Connection is the missing piece to the puzzle. Nobody makes a connection. Look, people ask questions like, where are you calling from today? Have you had the chance to drive one of these? And stuff like that, and by the way, that is a caring question that I believe most people don't even ask. A connection would be like, hey, by the way, while I'm getting the information today, you know, where are you calling from today? And then they tell you, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. By the way, I know these third row SUVs, they have room for the whole family. How many kids do you have? That's a connection question. They're like, well, I've got three kids. You're like, awesome, that's amazing. How old are they? What ages do you got? I've got three kids myself. And then they tell you, and they're like, man, my gosh. So are they into sports yet? Awesome, okay. So the idea that you're asking questions about their family is making a connection. So when you do ask for the appointment at the end, guess what? You've made a friend. Look, if you give all the right information out, let's just say it happens, you have the right unit, if you had a connection with them, wouldn't that double the chances of them coming in and buying and making sure that they held to their appointment? Absolutely. Make sure you make the connection. It's the number one missing piece on the phone. Okay guys, number five is gonna be enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is the sizzle on the steak, guys. It's literally not just the things you say, but the way that you say it's the passion you feel behind it. It's the enthusiasm. I'm gonna keep this short, I'm gonna keep it simple, okay? If you're just handing out information like McDonald's and you're taking an order, you will have no enthusiasm. But if you truly care and you wanna service your customers and treat them at the highest level and give them world-class customer service, increase your enthusiasm. That will be matched with energy like we talked about previously, and enthusiasm is the sizzle on the steak. Your customers will love it. Number six is gonna be passion. This could probably be be one of my most favorite. Why? Because you can't fake passion. Let me ask you a question. Do you want to be one of the top sales pros in the world? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, I'm going to tell you how to do it. Be passionate about what you do. Whatever you do, just do it all the way. Look, you know how many people I see that are just working at their jobs, they have a job and they're given information? 99%, you wanna be one of the top 1% earners? Guess what, get passionate about what you do. Get passionate about your people. Get passionate about mastering your craft and when you get on that phone, get passionate and let the customer hear with their ears that you love what you do and you love serving people and you love helping them. Passion, it's the total difference maker. It'll separate you from everyone else. Okay, number seven, believability. Let me ask you, when you're saying something, right, do you sound like you believe it yourself? Do you? I'm gonna tell you, most salespeople don't. How do people buy, off logic or emotion? They buy off emotion. They buy off the way that they feel about what you're saying. Well, if I'm gonna get emotional about what you're saying, let me ask you a question. Do I have to believe in you and believe what it is that you're saying? Yes, so believability is everything. If you want the customer to be at an emotional high and wanna set the appointment and want to want what you have and want to come do business with you, sound believable. It's very important. Okay guys, number eight is gonna be have a great attitude. Guys, having a great attitude is everything. I wanna think about this. What's the number one thing that a salesperson can do? Oh, let me just restart this, okay? Hey guys, number eight, it's gonna be attitude. The number one thing that can make a salesperson go to the next level and make the customer fall in love with them is a great attitude. Nothing overrides a great attitude. Look. Does your customer want to follow you? Let me ask you this, does a leader have a great attitude? Yes, so if you have a great attitude, what will happen? You'll lead the conversation and your customer will follow. So, are you a leader? Well, how will you know? We well, have a great attitude. If you have a great attitude on the phone, your customer will do what you want them to do and they'll follow. Have a great attitude. It's a priority, it's a must, and it will ensure that your phone call will end the way that you want it to. All right guys, number nine is gonna be drive, D-R-I-V-E. How do you hold the internal drive so you can stay driven to get the results that you know you and your family deserve? How do you do it? Look, in a place with a lot of negativists, which dealerships tend to have with other salespeople's managers, are you looking to other people for the drive to be a winner? 
or can you manage it and maintain it yourself? I need you to understand this from this point forward. You need to maintain the drive that you need to have to keep yourself in line, to keep yourself driven, and make sure that on every phone call, it's your responsibility to make sure if you want to get to where you want to go, you've got to want it yourself. Make sure that you've got your drive right. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I want to get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I want to roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link. It says coach with me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.